What? Get out of my house before I call the cops! Cops? Please do! Uh, actually... Nah. No. Fuck it. No. Wait, what's wrong with you? You know, I would like to play the guessing game, but that game is a little bit overrated. No, it's Don't not. Don't you think? What are you talking about? Wait a minute, about? how did you get in here anyway? I, I'm not sure, I just... I was... I was running away from darkness or something. And I think I knocked on your wardrobe or door. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? I don't want to hear it. Well, okay, fine. But if you want to get out of here alive, you're going to trust me. Okay? Okay. Let's start with you moving over to that mirror. M wait, m mirror? Wait, where? Start looking for it. You better I get it. You don't know. Sorry, wait. Wait, wait, wait where's the mirror? I, I, don't, I don't see the mirror. Where are you? I can use this, <laughs> you know? We can use this. You see, it's, it's not that hard for you to trust me. It's no harm, no fault. All right, all right. You see that key over there? Key? Get it and get out of here. And you might just live to see another day. Or you could stay and wait because I actually did call the cops and, you know, I, I just feel shit. By, by giving you that small chance to escape. Wait, wait, where's the key? I, I can't find the key. Wait, wait a minute, Snowflake. You see that clock behind you? I want to get you, get your eyeball, okay? And glue it. Glue it to the clock. See, now you've got one minute. One minute to find the key, scram, or stay and face the fucking consequences. Yeah, right. The police are probably going to be good for me. Or maybe I should leave. Damn, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, looky, Anthony, we got two choices. It looks like this could be your way out of here. Why? Wait, how? How do you know my name? Why are you doing this? What's going on? Don't be too hasty now, son. <laughs> we don't want you getting hurt now, do we, before you get to see your girl? Hang on. What? One of these doors lead to your freedom, but sacrifices Samantha Grace, while the other door sacrifices yourself to save Samantha Grace. That is genuinely crazy. <laughs> Most tunes have a chorus, buddy boy, but we're not playing a tune, we're playing to your heartbeat. Get it? Heartbeat? Yeah. <laughs> no tune? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it, you lame fuck. Both doors use one key. With fire comes life. But what is life when it sits still in four pieces? Stay here and eternally complement this still life or go out with a burning boom. What kind of boom? That all depends on the death of a pawn. Now it's time to decide whether you're going to go for the big dick or small dick ending, Anthony. Was that supposed to be a riddle? I'm definitely saving my song. This is ridiculous. I have no idea what to do. Choose one pawn. How do you hear that? Rip all pieces of still life and bring them to life with fire. How hard can that be? I think I need more of this.
Black Pond's death will create darkness. Darkness creates fear. And your fear of death will bring you the key that shrunk from the black smoke in the vent. Mr. Anthony, the tiny key complements your tiny dick quite well, don't you think?
He's breathing. Me, you're hearing things again. More and more. The only thing I'm hearing is somebody who wants to start a lens. Is that Anthony? <laughs> if that's Anthony, he's dead. You killed him with a dynamite. This place is burning. No. I can smell him. I know his aura. I know he's in there. He's in the bushes. And when I find him, oh, I'm gonna stick him like a pig. <laughs> you hear that, Anthony? I'm gonna stick you right in the cannoli. You're gonna get in big trouble. The whole place is on fire. Let's get out of here. Sex, sex, sex. Just give me a second, all right? Come on. Just, just give me one second. Hey, moron, you're talking to yourself again. Let's ditch this joint or else we'll be dropping the soap in jail. God damn it! 